Um, it, it's kind of hard. It's, it's definitely more art than science. Um, our approach is to make games that we think are really fun to play, that we would play ourselves. And, uh, and what makes it fun? Depends on, the, depends on who's building it, right? Um, what game for me might be a very different game for you that, that makes it fun to play. Um, our, our team really enjoys multiplayer games, uh, cooperative play, competitive play in, in a real-time environment. That's very exciting to us. It's very, um, it's very interesting uh, kind of uh, gameplay. Uh, to have uh, the human element involved in it uh, in, in a big way. So we just, all game design is, is really is copying and borrowing from existing games. Um, there isn't uh, you know, any popular game that's out there, even World of Warcraft is, was a copy of a copy of, of other games before it. Um, and there's you know, well-documented histories of, of every game you can, you can see where it, bought it, it borrows from. There's, there's definitely a few very original games that, that keep coming out. Um, but often uh, it's mostly mashups or copies of, of things. So we'll start with a, a genre of game that we, that we like, and then we'll talk about features uh, of existing games that, that we appreciate um, and features that we don't like. Um, and oftentimes we'll, we'll try to simplify to the audience that we're going after. Uh, so the Facebook game that we're building right now, the social game that we're building right now, um, is going to have a, a mixture of, of hardcore gaming elements with a social gaming element. It's going to feel very different than Farmville. It's going to feel more like a, a PC game or a console game. Um, and we think that, that is, there's not a lot of folks that are, that are, that are taking that approach. So we, we think it hopefully will work.